What's going on fragrance family? This is Tyler Simply Fragrances and today I'm bringing you my full thoughts on Raja Dove and their fragrance Diago Love. So if you want to see what I think about this fragrance, be sure and keep it right here. guys welcome back like i said my name is tyler this is my channel simply fragrances where we talk everything fragrance related we're doing top 10 videos we're doing seasonal videos we're doing fragrance reviews interviews everything that encompasses fragrances you can find right here so if that sounds like something that you want to be a part of be sure and hit that red subscribe button i would really appreciate that and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for the love and support you've shown this channel so like i said guys this is going to be my review over raja and their fragrance diago uh forgive me if i have butchered that name it's quite quite the, uh, the mouthful there, but um, nonetheless, really excited to bring this to you guys. Shout out to my boy, Luke. Um, he is a ride or die in the fragrance community for me. Uh, he's been a good buddy of mine for the past going on almost five years or so. So uh, he sent this my way and I really do appreciate that, bro. Much love to you. So let's go ahead and get into this, guys. All right, guys. So like I said, this was a decant that my buddy Luke had sent to me. Here it is right here. This is a little tin email that he sent my way very 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 appreciative of that so thank you again luke really do appreciate this so he sent this to me probably about a month and a half almost two months ago and it was still pretty warm outside and with this being a sheepra i knew that if i were to smell it and wear it in the extreme heat like we were having we were getting like man crazy 80 90 degree weather and so i wanted to give it time to cool off i wanted to spend time with this fragrance because this is a very complex fragrance as most sheep sheepers are right and so um you know i do apologize for it taking so long bro but this is the review so anyways this is a little 10 ml decant he had sent to me so i'm gonna leave a picture of the bottle up there for you guys to look at and as you can tell it is nonetheless a beautiful beautiful presentation that we get uh, from raja like we have come to know and love got that beautiful almost cube like bottle in there and it's absolutely gorgeous you got the beautiful cap up top and then you know well you have a little box presentation there for you but um over the top presentation when it comes to any kind of raja parfums they literally spare no expense in their presentations or their fragrances so really really quite a sight to see absolutely love the presentation on that let's go ahead and get into some of the notes on this so this is quite the extensive fragrance note breakdown not gonna lie so I'm not gonna read all the notes for you but I'm gonna leave the notes listed right there for you um, as you can see it is quite um, a laundry list of fragrance notes but some of the ones that really stand out to me obviously you get the lemon and the bergamot up top as you do it with with any kind of sheeper most sheepers they're gonna have you know some sort of citrus up top and then in the base you are the heart notes you get this heliotrope note that really comes out there's some jasmine in there and then in the base notes there's some heart there's some vanilla musk uh civet um those kind of things are the ones that really stood out to me so as you spray this on you're gonna get hit excuse me with a blast of citrus in the opening now it's not gonna be like a fresh fruity type of citrus i don't want you to think that you do get lemon but it's not this tropical type of lemon. It's more of a of a mature, um, almost you know, gentleman barber shoppy kind of a lemon. So uh, when you think of a shebra, you know, often you know people compare them to like a barber shop fragrance or a gentleman type of fragrance, and that's exactly what this is. So this is a very bold and brash gentleman style of fragrance, very unforgiving. So that lemon that you're gonna get, it's gonna be very powerful and bold in the opening and that bergamot's going to help tie that in and then as you get down into i would say around the 10 to 15 minute mark there's a beautiful peach note that is just tucked away in here and you you, you don't really have to look for it but if you didn't know it was there you might you know kind of skip on by it but as i was going over the notes because like i said this is a very complex fragrance i was beginning to notice that peach in there and i was like wow this is actually quite lovely and so as the you know uh, went on into the dry down there's almost this leathery type of cord that you get and you get the amber and you get the musk the civet in here and the heliotrope 
wardrobe, I really do enjoy the Healer Trip. It kind of gives it almost this kind of warm floral type of vibe, and it is absolutely gorgeous. So those are kind of some of the notes and some of the breakdowns that you could expect with a Sheepra. Sheepras are going to be very bold and brash, in your face, unforgiving, and they kind of take control over the room whenever you know they enter into the room or whenever you enter into the room wearing this. So very, very masculine, very, very um, old school, but don't think of, you know, something that just smells like an old grandpa. This is a very just robust, you know, kind of take control over the room, masculine style of fragrance. So um, let's go ahead and talk about, you know, what you could expect with performance and projection off of this fragrance. So this this is an incredible fragrance guys this will last you at least this is my experience with it so you know mileage may vary but guys i get 14 plus hours with this this stuff it lingers and it lasts and it lasts and it lasts this is awesome stuff guys so whenever you get into this you can expect anywhere from at least 10 hours plus that's just going to be my you know kind of experience with this fragrance i get even more with this but i've had a couple other buddies try this on and they've wore it they wore it overnight they woke up the next morning they could smell it on their hand you know i've sprayed this on clothes just to see what it would do how it would interact with you know me you know, my, my clothing and i've sprayed this on a jacket i want to say almost two weeks ago and i'm still getting wafts of it off of this guys this is this is no slouch so the longevity and the performance off of this is absolutely outstanding you're going to be reaching out i'd say over an arm's length whenever you spray this arm uh spray this on for the first good hour and a half to almost two hours people are going to be able to easily smell you and then after about that two to two and a half hour mark it sets in a little bit closer to the skin but this really is a take control of the room kind of fragrance not that it's going to be a room filler by that you know by any stretch of the imagination but it is going to waft and it's going to make a nice little scent trail so the scent trail it's going to be long but the projection if that makes sense isn't going to just be this massive room filler so i hope that makes sense to where when you walk by people they'll be able to smell you from across the room because of the scent trail but if you're standing in a room it's not just going to be pulsating off of you you know being that loud obnoxious guy in the room and so you know that's what you can expect with a raja type of fragrance they're going to be you know a very prominent fragrance but they're not going to be that annoying clawing clawing type of fragrance in the room so and then like i said the longevity at least in my experience i get 14 plus hours now times and seasons to wear this this is a very unique fragrance now you really have to like old school kind of gentleman barbershop fougere type of fragrances sheepers if you will so you know think of stuff like paul sebastian you know like the old ps cologne from like the 80s you know something like that which can be very robust and very you know masculine obviously this is head over heels uh, night and day difference in quality over Paul Sebastian, but that type of a scent profile is what you can expect with this. So, um, I really would reserve this for more dressed up occasions. I don't really see this being an average, just, you know, spray it on as you go to Walmart to pick up some groceries. Absolutely, you can if you want to, but this is definitely more of a dressed up occasion. I would wear this something for more of like a wedding, graduation, maybe a really fancy dinner. Um, if you're going to some sort of an award ceremony, you know, I was really looking forward to going to Scent Explore this year. Just didn't quite get a chance to, to do that, but if I was going to go, I was going to take this and see what it did because I, you know, I wanted to get a nice buttoned up shirt, nice slacks, good dress shoes, you know, really dress the part. That is kind of the environment that I would want to wear this in. Now, as far as seasons go, this is going to be something that I recommend in maybe, you know, the spring, but honestly, it's going to be more of a fall and winter style fragrance. That's just, you know, my recommendation because it is a very, it's a very thick fragrance. It's a very, um, fragrance that whenever if, if it has any kind of extreme heat or humidity to it it might be a little too clawing it might be a little too thick for you so i would reserve this honestly for the fall and winter months even into the spring you know as you still have you know cooler days you know where you have 
can have you know a cooler day nice cool breeze going and this is going to get you right where you need to be so honestly guys overall on this fragrance i would recommend obviously sample i mean this is going to be you know a pretty pricey fragrance this does retail for over a thousand dollars us if you get the full 100 ml now like i said that is you know a pretty penny but you do get the quality you do get you know that the upper class the you know the extravagant experience whenever you get a roja fragrance so overall guys this is an awesome fragrance you know i do think that you have to like you know older gentleman style fragrances to really enjoy this but if you do want to you know try this i definitely recommend sampling it you know if you have the money to go ahead and buy a full bottle and that's what you want to do then hey go ahead but sample it first i recommend sampling you know that that's just going to be a good way to get a good test run on it but overall guys really really enjoy this fragrance really good for dressed up occasions really good for you know more of a fall and winter style of environment so overall guys diagolov I give it a pass, guys. Really good stuff. Get your nose on it. Um, you know, it is expensive. So if you know someone that has it, you know, maybe, you know, pay them a couple bucks or something like that to, you know, get a sample because this is, you know, really expensive. So I really do appreciate Luke sending this to me, man. Really, really do appreciate that. So overall, guys, Diagolov, definitely recommend it guys so that's going to do it for this video thank you so much for watching really do appreciate that let me know in the comment section down below guys what do you think of this fragrance is it something that you've smelled is it something that you've heard a lot about um i want to know if you if you have it what's your experience with it you know is it something that you wear for only the utmost important occasion is it something that you know you feel comfortable rocking you know even going you know to the grocery store so if you have smelled this let me know in the comment section below if you have any rajas let me know what's your favorite one down below love so like i said that's going to do it for this video i'm going to catch you in the comment section i'm also going to catch you on the next video and remember if you love it wear it